little Bella just climbing up here to Arnie. She just plays here on the ground, running up and down and climbing the whole day and spending time with her dad. Yes, he is so happy to have her around. And uh, yeah, she just goes to him all the time. A little Lily sitting over here. And there is... Let me just see who that is. That is Billy just taking a toy apart. And he enjoys doing it. But yeah, little Bella, here she is, just running around, climbing up and down. And uh, yeah, she's doing absolutely great. That's how she climbs. <laughs> when you got monkeys. Oh, and he's peeing on little Bella. Can you believe it? Arnie, that wasn't very nice. Now she wants to climb on me. <laughs> These monkeys are something else. Just when you think you get used to them, then, well, they do something really funny. And they keep on doing it all the time. And she has started to become a real little monkey like all the others. She is just playing, but she is a little biter. And she enjoys jumping on this bed. You should actually see it. I'll see if I can get her to jump there. Look at that. And, and little Bella as well. She's just running around. And there goes little Chloe. <laughs> These three monkeys are having a great time. Just look at that. Duncan is sleeping over there. But he better watch out. Because she is just, well, showing him that. He is sleeping in their little trampoline. <laughs> Monkeys are really something special. There's just no way of explaining it. You have to see them in this way to understand how sensitive and how, well, entertaining they can be. Not that we need entertainment out of them, but they provide it anyway. If you just gaze at them, you will be entertained immediately. <laughs> and they don't stop. They're going to go like this until they sleep. And when they sleep, they will be back doing this within a few minutes. And if you try and walk away, they grab you by the leg. And there is no way. Look at that. All three of them. <laughs> you just can't walk when you've got a monkey around. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> just Bella hasn't got a leg to climb to. Wait, Bella, here's one for you. Let's see if she climbs on my leg. No, she wanted to climb on one of those. <laughs> no, there she goes. Yeah. That's something about monkeys. They can really cling. Gotta go get some food for the birds. Yes, all these pigeons and doves and birds around here. Well, they eat. And I do have, let's say, a few hundred around. And it's a good idea to just keep them fed. And um, yeah, they keep on coming back. And actually my dad is doing that. He feeds them and he enjoys them very much. And yeah, I am ready to quickly go and pick up the food for the doves and pigeons. They're always so friendly when I come here. And they bring me the bird seed and they load it for me. And uh, yeah, it's great to have a relationship with people where you can actually just walk in and they're friendly with you. Whenever I get back home, I try and see which animal meets me by the gate. And it's Diego. <laughs> and he got out of the pool. Well, Diego has been meeting me outside all the time in the last few months. He is the one to be there every time I get back home. Well, let me get to giving him something to eat. Well, Diego is just sitting there and I think I just missed his moonwalk that he did. Ends over there. They are getting ready to eat. The dogs are over here. I've got dinner already and 
there's Turbo. And I had to just quickly walk to the other side and go and fetch a tin opener because, well, let me just show you. This is the one I went to fetch, one of the old type, but it works well. Why? Because little Arthur ate my tin opener last night. Yeah, when I got up, it was already too late. Nothing could save that than open it. Let me just keep the dogs on this side. I don't want them to come through because I'm going to just quickly feed the cats. The cats are doing great. Well, there I heard a sneeze. That was little Opal. She's giving a sneeze, but she's the only one. Because Sassy is perfectly fine now. And Sissy is perfectly fine. Cutest cat in the world is perfectly fine. Vegetarian cat is perfectly fine. So it's just little opal that still needs to... Oh. There was a little something. But yeah, I'm going to sort her out. I'm going to give her also a little bit of the pull that I've been having them on. Yeah, it's not a virus. Seems like just a bacterial infection. And that stuff works well for that. So let me start by getting well her, her pull in and feeding them but yeah just to find my tin opener there it is it has had better days so if you want to feed cats keep the tin opener away from dogs this little bird was hit by a car and the lady's feeling so bad about it she's trying everything but he's looking good i think he's gonna make it and uh, yeah i don't know but for myself i told them to put him down where they found him because his mom is going to be there and just to put a little food for him and he's looking good i think he is going to be perfect i don't think there's going to be a problem whatsoever i remember this place when we were children and in school we used to come here the school brought us and we were not allowed to talk inside those grounds you were not allowed to do it because it's a world war i think it's a world war one uh, memorial monument or something and today there's people sleeping in there and it is something totally different oh low on fuel again but in any case we went in there perfectly silent we were not allowed to say a word if you said a word you would be sorry there was no way of getting away from it a lot of buildings here in springs the art deco style that it was built it is actually quite nice if you look at that this is the fire brigade <laughs> fire department and uh, yeah i just thought about that when i drove past there well let me get back home i got some stuff to unpack this is an old paint shop. If you want to paint a car, that's where you come and they mix the paint for you perfectly. It's been there for years. Actually, now that I think about it, one of my friends that used to run that paint shop got shot in that paint shop and he died. That was probably about 20 years ago. Well, gotta go. Got some things to do. See you guys later. Well, those two palm trees were caught and now they are going to be replanted. I think this guy's wheel just broke off. Just look at that. It's totally broken off. Let me get him there in the rearview mirror. Can you believe it? And they are all eating. They're growling a little. It's actually just one of the dogs that growls when they eat. He wants to convince them that he's doing them a favor to let them eat with him. And that's Billy. And then Trappies as well. Uh, now and then he growls. But yeah. Zach and Sachi still on the other side. I don't let them go there. I'll let them go back in a while. But first I want to make sure that everyone is happy. And Enzo eating a little bit of grass. He always does. And they ate, well, it seems like they ate all their food. Well, he's not done, completely done, but he has been eating quite a lot. 
I can see he is well, he's full. I think he had enough and he's still shaking water off his feet. And Diego is on the other side. The cats are all around. It doesn't end. This is basically a continuous thing. They are here. I don't want to upset Diego again. I'll just stand like this, but I don't want to go further. He enjoys his food. He's also still wet. And the little sassy pants is going there. What's this Enzo? I think this is Enzo. Well, they're both wet. <laughs> the cats are right here. Enzo, you're eating too much and too quick. <laughs> he's friendly as can be, even while he's eating. But I remember, sometimes I gave him his food, always on time, and then I went in and I took it back. If it was still frozen, if he picked it up that it's still frozen, I went and I warmed it up, brought it straight back to him, and he knew every time I come to fetch the food back from him, I will give it to him better. And I think he realized it. <laughs> Just look at that face. He is eating like you won't believe. <sighs> yeah, so tigers can realize what is food. And how it's better or worse. They are very intelligent. And I think it's just how they are raised. But I did spend all my time with Enzo back then. He really... There goes Diego. He really... <laughs> well, he was probably not even thinking that he was a tiger. I think he was thinking he was human and he just didn't have thumbs. <laughs> but he is an amazing tiger. Diego over here, well, he's just smelling everything. <laughs> and he's also friendly, but he's friendly in a different way. Look how friendly he is with the cats. But, hmm, you have to realize when you are friendly with a tiger, he can go tiger at any moment. Cats are running around playing, little buck. And he gets shaken by the water. I think this is Diego's favorite spot. He always comes to lie down here when he's done eating. Right there in that corner. And all the cats can sit and watch the tiger. Can you believe it? Well, gotta go. I'm done feeding all the animals. And... Uh, yeah, I've got the rest of the day off. So, there's not much left of the day. I mean, the sun is right over there. It's already down. But, well, it's better than nothing. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And like always, have a great day.